Today we're going to be looking at nucleic acids and how they affect the body. This is kind of an intro into talking about DNA as it allows us to learn to some vocab when I start talking about how the cell creates proteins and eventually is able to survive based on a single strand of DNA. Let's take a look at it. What are nucleic acids? Every cell needs a set of instructions for survival. The code for this survival is nucleic acid. Nucleic acids act as the information carriers for the cell. Together, they are able to make sure that the cell performs all the necessary functions in order to survive. What are nucleic acids made of? Nucleotides. These are the monomers of nucleic acids, contain one nucleobase which acts as a piece of a code. Nucleotides consist of three parts and are very small. However, when they are stacked on top of each other, they can create large nucleic acids such as DNA and RNA. What are the types of nucleic acids? A. DNA, deoxyribonucleic acid. Found in all cells is the blueprint for everything in a cell. DNA is found in every living organism, and between every living organism, DNA is different. Cells contain massive amounts of DNA as they encode massive amounts of information to ensure that every cell is able to survive. Is double-stranded. The two strands run opposite to each other. The two strands of DNA run opposite to each other with their matching base pairs. This allows to make sure that there is a maximum amount of information carried. It contains four bases, adenine, which we represent with an A, guanine, which we represent with a G, cytosine, which we represent with a C, and thymine, which we represent with a T. These are the four base pairs. You notice that they are very different in sizes. RNA, ribonucleic acid, found in all cells, acts to help carry out the cell duties based on the DNA. RNA acts to be the messenger for DNA. As you can see here, there's a molecule reading off a strand of DNA and creating a long yellow strand of RNA which will be sent elsewhere in the cell. RNA's main role is to dictate to the cell what it is specifically that the, RNA, that the DNA is instructing for the cell survival. Is single-stranded. Only one side of the DNA is read at a time. RNA is different from DNA in the sense of one key thing is its structure. RNA is single-stranded, as you can see by this picture, whereas D DNA is double-stranded. Contains four bases. Adenine, which we represent again with an A. Guanine, which we represent with a G. Cytosine, which we represent with a C. And uracil, which represents a U. These are pictorial representations of the four base pairs of RNA. Notice there's no thymine, instead a uracil is there. 